Today we learned that Republicans in the Tennessee legislature are planning to break up the city of Nashville, a deep blue progressive stronghold in the South. For more than 200 years, Nashville's been represented by one congressperson and completely within one congressional district. So why now are they breaking it up? It's for no other reason than to destroy a democratic stronghold in the state of Tennessee and to dilute the voices of black, brown, and immigrant people, progressive thought, and the voices of anyone else who want to escape the traditions of the old South. For each of the 200 years that Nashville's had its own congressional seat, it has been only represented by a white man. It's no coincidence that when the first openly gay black woman is mounting the most serious challenge to win this district, they wanna break it up. This is no longer a democracy where our voices are going to be heard. Welcome to the new Jim Crow, where racist, sold out, Trump loyal politicians would do anything to erase us and eradicate our voices. This country, especially the South, we got a long history doing this. It's nothing new. My parents and my grandparents had to survive a version of Nashville that had poll taxes, lynching, redlining, and all the other dangers that came with the civil rights era. And they did that just so that I could stand in this version of Nashville today. So I'm here to deliver a message to the people of Nashville and one to the lawmakers who have influence over this type of decision. First to the senators in DC, especially um, Joe Manchin and Krista Sinema, who are upholding Jim Crow tactics by protecting the filibuster instead of passing much needed voting rights and election protection legislation. Congratulations. I hope you're happy, job well done. Your inaction is allowing Republicans across the country to gerrymander districts like mine and making it harder for communities like mine to vote. My message is to abolish the filibuster and protect our democracy from racist power grabs. And to the people of Tennessee, my state, my home, my birthplace, we ain't backing down because it ain't in our DNA. The Tennessee GOP should be very careful what they wish for. If they plan to draw communities like mine into more rural and suburb suburban communities, and the only reason they do this is because they're trying to keep people like me and you out of power. <laughs> but they need to know the things that I've been fighting for, they ain't just relevant to Nashville. Wages, housing, healthcare, climate change, these are all things impacting people across America, and especially in the state of Tennessee. The divisions that we have in this country, they ain't about what we teach in history or about what's happening at the border. Look, it's about greedy corporations and the politicians they pay to stoke the divisions that keep people like them desperate to make decisions like this. It's all they got. Look at what happens when we're together. We, we end things like Jim Crow. We make sure that women have the right to vote. And we make sure that people can love who they want to love and identify however they want to identify. When we claim our power in this country, the image of this country changes. And that's how we make our country, our home work for all of us and not just for a wealthy few. Because when the truth be told, it ain't working for these Trump Lord races either. It's only working for a wealthy few. But we're going to take this campaign into every county of the district, no matter what the map looks like. Because we know the system is rigged regardless of if it's my community or if it's rural Tennessee. And it working for nobody. So to my fellow Tennesseans who want to fight back against this racist, oppressive Republican power grab, I need you to stand with me and not accept this. Don't be complicit in allowing them to create Jim Crow, a new era of Jim Crow. Call your legislator and tell them to create fair maps. Don't let them dilute our voting power.